like I'm gonna count on him to refer me people and stuff like that. I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. Thank you. Welcome back to Progressive Soup. My name is Emily Volfantasta. I'm your host. And again, we have our guest, Lorraine Jolly, intuitive massage therapist. And like I'd mentioned in our previous episode, today we're going to talk about how beliefs, how our beliefs affect our lives. But first, I wanted to touch upon some questions that were presented to us from our last episode. Um, first, um, we were asked what to do with difficult patients. And um, yeah, let's just start with that. Um, questions on Eastern medicine. And yeah, so we're, first we're going to touch on, as an intuitive massage therapist, how do you deal with dis- difficult patients or clients that don't know how to deal with their Right, or or who may be embarrassed or or whatever. Well, you know, first of all, when a a client comes, the idea is to have compassion no matter where, and meet them where they are, right? right? So I have kids that come to me, right? right? If if a kid is 10 years old or you got a 60-year-old, you're going to meet them wherever they are. Right. And and it's it's an ability. It's a skill. Right, right? exactly. Um, and, And I would say even sometimes I feel an innate ability that I can go to any level, right? right? And I can have compassion and understanding for where they are at that moment. Right. Um, so when they come in, if they've got reservation or whatever, the idea is to just build a trust, mm-hmm. right? That they they know that you care about them, right. give them hope that you, you know, you will help them to the best of your ability. Um, and if you really feel that you can, you know, if I feel that I really can help them, right. exactly. I'm going to let them know that. So they feel that right. the, the hope is really, you know, hope and compassion, right. And not putting yeah. any kind of demands on them or, right. or expectations or judgments. Right. right? Exactly. And this is what I say to people all the time. Don't judge yourself on where you're at or what you're doing because that's just going to prolong their ability to open up right Right. so if thoughts come to them or they don't want to talk or they do want to say something they need to just follow their own knowing Right. right, and no judgments are ever made. No judgments. And whatever goes on in a session stays in the session. Right. Right. So, um, I mean, unless it's a child, obviously, I tell them um, that if they tell me things, the only thing I would share with their parents is if it was something where they were going to harm themselves. Right. Right. But if they're sharing with me other things, maybe a relationship they have or or whatever, I'm not going to you know, relinquish stuff that is unnecessary um, to, you know, if they want something to be more confidential unless it was harmful. So the idea is to build trust. Yeah. And if you build trust, and they can tell immediately, when they come into my office, whether it's a child or an adult, they know that I care about yeah. their health, I want to help them be well, and I'm going to not judge, and, uh, right. and I'm going to educate them. Right, exactly. While we're going through the process, right. and um, and that's what it boils down to. But I think trust is probably the underlying factor to the whole process. Right. And um, I don't consider anybody to be a difficult client, right? You know, we've worked at um, a place together that you know I would have somebody come in and say, uh, "Look at this one doesn't want to take that person. Will you take them?" Right. right, because it's you know they're too difficult or this or that, and those people would end up hugging me before they left, or right. you know wanting to come back to me all the time, and and they'd say, "Oh, this one's coming in today," right, and I'd be like, "Yeah, like." Okay, and they're like, "What?" And I'm like, "Yeah, that person, you know, is kissing me, laughing now, right. you know, that type of thing." But all that, all that is, is about understanding and being in a place where you understand where they are at that given moment. Because you know yourself, people come in sometimes; they're like, especially when people are in pain. Right. Oh my gosh! Right. You know, they can't think straight. Right. Exactly. They're, they, they can be angry. They can be frustrated. Yeah. They're, they're, they can be agitated on the table. Right. They can. You could be flipping them from sideline to supine yeah. to you know different positions right. or whatever. But once you get through that first session and they right. come back the next time, oh my God! It's like a whole new world opened up for no, them. It's true. Right. So it's really about knowing and understanding them and, and being comp- and, and that relationship. Yeah. And I think so much, I mean, in our society, you know, and healthcare, I think that that relationship and trust has been disrupted. But my father, who's a physician, and he says as a, a doctor, 
with health care and insurance companies and HMOs, he feels that, you know, the HMOs don't, they don't care if you have this relationship with your patient and they could just kind of, or, you know, it's just not, they don't realize the importance and healing of having that trust, that relationship and how much of a part that takes in the healing process, you know. Once a person trusts you, they can open up and allow that healing to take, take place. You know, that's so, that is a definite, you know, and that's where I think where people just want that, somebody to to actually feel like somebody cares about them, and somebody, empathy, yeah, Yeah. the empathy and and the relationship, you know, um, it's like, you know, people who go to um, these um, facilities, right, Right. versus coming to an individual like you or I, because they might get a better deal, or they might whatever, but in these places, they're not getting that one-on-one right. uh, real int- you know you don't have time in those places to have an interest right. in your client I mean because they don't understand a client will come in and take 15 minutes of their session just to show you their daughter's wedding pictures right. no, or no. Um, to you know explain to you that their dog died and or, or they're having to put their dog down right. or you know they're talking to you about or are they taking care of an elderly parent or right. that type of thing I mean they think a person just comes in gets on the table you do whatever exactly. you're doing and then off they go and then the next time and the no, next time and the next time. No, it's true. They just don't understand what it is that we do. No. I'm no. Completely so so you're, you're right and it's the same with the, yeah. you know, you brought up the good point about how nobody's understanding that you need a relationship oh, yeah. with people. It's, it's the same in anything today with customer service. People want to be have a one-on-one relationship, exactly. whether you're on the phone and you're not pressing 40 dials yeah. and, uh, you know, buttons to try to get to somebody to talk to them. And it's, it is. it is. It's so, so true. That's a very good point that right. you brought up. No, it's, yeah. it's funny. I just thought of it now. You know, the trust, the relationship. and um, Because it is a relationship. It is. It's a, it's a real important relationship. Yeah. Um, and something that, you know, they look forward to coming Right. Because of the experience, it's not about right. you putting your hands on them or you giving them, inf- you know, getting information from their body right. because you're an intuitive. Right. It's the whole experience, exactly. not one thing or another, and that's why we treat the whole right, right. of the body. Exactly. Somebody asks, "Are yeah. you the same Eastern as a, medicine. you know, what yeah?" Are your beliefs on Eastern medicine. Well, I mean. Eastern medicine, you right. know, it's that whole thing about people thinking what we do is new age. Right. When Eastern philosophy has been doing this for many, like if you're talking China, Japan, India, or whatever, right. they've been practicing meditation and yoga and all kinds of things right. forever as a uh, way of, years. yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, you know, for me, the difference between maybe Eastern, I mean, I work with energy fields. We, you know, right? We work right. with chakra systems. Yeah. There's Are many, yeah. right? There's many different um, um, explanations, right? Or different modalities that use right. different sectors, right? Whether it's reflexology, right? They're right. working with the energy of all of your organs as yeah. well, just in a different, right? In yeah. all different aspects, right? right? But it's all about clearing energy yes. fields, yeah. right? Exactly. So to me, that's what the Eastern medicine is. Is about energy, and right. it's about no meds if you don't need meds. Right, right. And um, if you do need meds, it's a temporary, not a permanent type of thing. Um, so, I mean, you can go into Eastern medicine in you know such depth. But for me, I would say that that's um, you know people understanding that their energy. Bye. Energy blocks, mm-hmm. what we call energy cysts, right? We talked in the last show about the the emotional, mm-hmm. what happens when that emotion keeps coming over and over again. The right. body doesn't know whether you had a, an emotion like... Um, from a, uh, if you got in a car accident, it doesn't know that if you had fear from being in a car accident or you have fear from a beer in right. the woods, right? right fear right. is fear. Yeah. So every time you have fear, it just keeps building and creates an energy cyst in the right. body, right? Yeah. And that's the thing that it needs, so it creates a blockage, right? Right. The energy cyst creates a blockage that things are not flowing properly or appropriately yeah. that cause dysfunction in the body or, or discomfort or right. whatever. Right. So 
Eastern medicine to me is more a, uh, and it's more a body, mind, spirit. It's about the whole right. of the person. Exactly. How could I forget that? I mean, that's the most important, right? right? Eastern philosophy versus Western philosophy. Eastern philosophy would be treating the person as a whole right. versus treating you know, just their pain in a particular area, right. but not their mind, not their spirit. Right. Right. And we're but the, all energetic beings. Yeah. As a whole. As a Body, whole. mind, spirit. Yeah. It's not a separate right. entity. It's right. all one. Right. Exactly. Right. Instead of dealing with like an organ, you know, we deal with the whole body system. Correct. Of, yeah. That's that's right. So, I mean, that's what my take is on, right. um, you know, the Eastern f- philosophy. No. And, and somebody asked about, uh, you know, PT versus massage. Oh, right, massage therapy right. versus physical therapy. therapy. And where, you know, we deal, again, with right. the whole. Right. PT is dealing with you get a prescription for the particular area of the body that's right. a problem. Exactly. And it's not associating with, you know, maybe it's coming from here uh, that's affecting right. that or that it's um, an emotion that's causing the problem or your spirit is, is uh, you know, the light's uh, dimmed in the spirit that right. needs to be um, brought to the surface and, and opened up. So, you know, that's, you know, and, and they're both effective in, right. you know, the areas that they're doing, but it's that's that would be the that would be the difference and ironically insurance would be more likely to cover yeah. physical therapy than massage therapy right so i never quite understood that, right. But. Well, and that's, you know, well, because also physical therapy can do things in, you know, 15-minute increments or right. leave a person alone and go to the next, the next, the next, right? right? Where true. we are, you know, dealing with one person for a whole hour. And um, quite frankly, I, you know, I don't welcome insurance unless they're interested in really knowing what right. we do, right? right. Because right. then we'd be dictated on we can only do 10 minutes exactly. or a half hour or that type of thing, yes. which would not be beneficial for our our clients, right, exactly. right? It would then be succumbing to what the rest of the world is doing with the insurance, uh, right. you know, industry and and what goes on there. Yes. I'm not saying that's all bad. Again, right. it's just you know th- that particular sector. I think you can't. My father, who's a physician too, he says you can't make a commodity out of healthcare. I mean, healthcare is really not something you could sell. Really, I don't think. You can't right. Really, I don't. I don't. And when it does become an industry then I think that's when we start succumbing to what society, you know, tells us to to do, you know, and that's right. when it kind of... Well, and I think yeah. that's where the fear comes in yeah. because there, it, right, we get into the, um, when we get into the belief system, right. right, it all falls, you know, like, oh, if I get something for free, then I do it for free, and right. if I have to pay for it, then it's, you know, it's not worth doing, or it's, you know, it's not the avenue to take, or, you know, we're, we'll have lack, yeah. you know, lack of money, you know, lack of this, lack of that, so we, we hang on to everything and do it in a fashion that keeps more money in our pocket, even if we know it's the, you know, it's not helping us. Right, right. right. We'll do that. That, you know, type of huh. thing. So oh, that's interesting. Well, yeah, yeah I, I mean, never thought about it that way. Yeah, sure. Huh. In terms of our own health. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I mean, I didn't have health insurance for many, many, many years. Well, it's, I still don't. Well, right? some people so, do believe. I mean, I always people say, "Oh, you saw this such a luxury." You know, well, yeah, that's another belief. Right, it's another belief that it's yeah. a luxury. So if they're doing it, it's a, you know, it's something that they shouldn't be doing right. because you know uh, they don't, you know, they don't make enough money, or they, yeah. or be, they don't believe they make enough money to cover that, or right. they should be doing something else with that. Or, right. Yeah. It's, or it's that exactly. belief that life is a struggle and we have to suffer, and if you haven't really feel good or enjoy yourself or do something yeah. pleasurable, then right. You know. Right, but we know that what we do is not what we do is not really for pleasure. I mean, right. I don't I don't do full body general massages right. no. to to feel right. better, but even if people were doing that, it would be better than not doing anything, right? right. To get that relaxation, the blood flow and all that type right. of stuff. Right, right, but it's healing. Um, but w- you right, know. Right. And what we do is just a little 
you know, or what at least I do, right. is a little more, um, it takes it to a, another level. Right, exactly. Right? Where you're not even doing a full body massage necessarily, right. but working on uncovering so they can free up to be able to, uh, you know, not miss work and be able to make more money and, do, you know, live happy and right. all of this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Versus, uh, and, you know, versus... Um, um, I lost my train of thought. Okay. Right? Another question that someone had asked was about the medical history. Do you, do you take a medical history? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, when people come in, I, you know, I do take it because legally it protects them and it protects me. Right. But pretty much that's what I use it for. Right. It's more the legal protection. Right. Um, and, you know, uh, meet the insurance requirement, you know, my personal liability insurance requirements. Right. right? But, I mean, I don't. I, I'll look at it, you right. know, um, but it really doesn't have any impact necessarily on what I do because as an intuitive, right. their body is going to tell me everything right. I need to do, yeah. how I have to do it, right. you know, when I have to do it, that type of thing. And um, so it doesn't matter whether they're taking a hundred different meds, whether they've got this condition, that condition right. or whatever, because nothing I can do would ever harm them. Right. Yeah. Exactly. You know. Right. So, um, so yes, I, I do t- take uh, take a medical medical history, and I let them tell me everything that they want to tell me and right. need to tell me about whatever they find important, um, because usually that eventually tells a story. Right, right, exactly. And, um, and you know, we know Louise Hay, you right, know, uh, my Bible, uh, right. you know, uh, the guru of emotion affecting physical right, exactly. and healing your body. Um, yeah. You know, if people have certain things that are going on, I'll look them up right. to see where they might be connecting emotionally. And as they tell me stories or tell right. me things and situations, they all eventually tell the story, right? Right. Yeah. So it's about listening to people, mm-hmm. all their words, right? Um, what they write, right? Okay. Be important stuff to. Uh, it's interesting what you were saying. You know, getting back to the beliefs. How, let's say, you have a medical history, and um, you know, someone, the, you know, someone could go to a, a doctor, or, well, you know, and then they could be told, or in their family, if there's a disease in the family and you're told, oh, well, you'll take after grandma, or, you know, my father had this, so that means I'm going to get it, because it's in our family, you know, and right. that's another, it's almost like it's not the sentence, it's not in your genes necessarily that you're going to get it, but maybe it's, the, is that one way in how beliefs can affect our Oh, lives. That's like so big. Yeah. So big. I mean, people, uh, you know, are, before um, I answer that, I want to go back just for a second okay. for the medical history because the other question was, do we look at x-rays and do oh, we do that? Oh, right, yes. You know, we're not, that's not our scope of practice. Of course, but I right. always ask people, you know, did you have this checked? Right. Um, you know, it, what is the diagnosis? You right. know, what does the doctor believe, you know, is the problem? Right. Uh, do they know what the problem, you know, finding out everything I get, know about it. And if I feel that once I touch their body that it's something that I think they should get checked, right. then I will tell them, I think you need to get an x-ray. Okay. I think you need to, you know, see your medical professional, wow. right, or right. that type of thing. Okay. Because, um, you know, we want to rule out. Right. That it's, you know, you, you don't want a fractured hip or, you know, whatever. You, you want to make sure that you're ruling all of these things out before you, um, you know, start working on the emotional aspect of it. Uh-huh. So um, I just wanted to clarify that because no. I remembered. Now we got to get back to well, that. Well, no, it, it was just funny because I had brought it up because by looking at someone's file, you might, you said you don't want to be influenced in a way because you pick up stuff intuitively but maybe if you if you read in someone's file that they have this condition do you think you'd be influenced by no that okay no i thought that's why you'd mentioned it i only use it as like for protection because by reading their file well it's it's more the protection is more like if they didn't put if if they put something down and i was to harm them Okay. Then they have recourse, okay. right? Where right. and if they didn't put something down, and then they're trying to, you know, right. th- like there was a lawsuit, which 
I don't worry about stuff like right, that either, right? Because right? I don't bring that into my space. Right. But if they were to sue me, right, right, and they didn't put it down on the oh, form, right. then that's that's the idea of oh. having these forms and the protection right. along with educating. Yes. In most cases, okay, um, you know, a, um, a general massage therapist or somebody who needs to see these right. contraindications and all that who aren't you know, necessarily dealing with energy but are dealing with you know massage in general right. um, even though massage is energy but more dealing with that type of thing that you know how right. you're looking at contraindications and different stuff like of that course. right where okay. my work doesn't look at that right. uh, aspect of it so it's not to be influenced by some doctors no, okay. no, 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 not at all. Right. Because their body is going to dictate what's what's right. the truth. Exactly. Right? Okay. Right. So you, you were talking about the belief of people. Uh, right, self-fulfilling you, prophecy. Really, you know, thinking you know? that their you know their mother has it, they're going to have it. I mean, right. I think that's the. It's just it's it's actually sad, right? right. And we've talked about the Angelina Jolie yeah, yeah. Uh, situation, and right. I just you know and the hero or the courage and all of this kind of right. stuff, and you know it kind of got me sick to my stomach, quite frankly, in hearing about that, right? Right. Yeah. Because we know that you know the belief system. If you're going to believe that this is you know some right. genetic right thing the DNA yeah, yeah the genes right. Gonna get- breast cancers or just remove everything so I don't get it. Right, and we're not looking at the trauma right. and the emotional components of removing these things yes. or even the uh, you know the body's trauma of not having these organs, right? right. Because you know, every time we remove something or you know cut ourselves or, or whatever, it's the body's, you know, um, the body's in trauma. Yep. Right, and it's going to react in different ways than it may not have right. prior because it's it's got to function differently, right? right exactly. And and it's responding differently. And I'll never forget there was a guy that came to me, and he went in for surgery. And this is the other. Um, oh, I'm getting off on a whole other subject, okay. so let's stick with the. Uh, okay. Let's stick with the people thinking that Leave I, this because I could talk. I, well, <laughs> well, it was just that you know he went in for surgery, and right. and I think this is the same as you know. Um, it, but that's a more on okay. the emotions affecting the physical, okay. where something happens to a person in surgery, right? right? So they think that well, if it happened in surgery and you're under the you're right. under the anesthesia, that you don't your body doesn't know what went on. Right. Only this guy came out paralyzed in his right shoulder. He couldn't. He he was he had to leave work. He was totally paralyzed from going in for like a stint or something. I forget. It was a stint, and what happened was he was telling them that he was hurting they were putting the scope i guess up through the leg right okay. or whatever they do right. right and he was saying how he you know he was like and they actually held him down and then you know eventually you know whatever the medicine took over or right. whatever after they kept going and he took on that emotion stored in his shoulder i, I forget right. exactly now it was shoulder arm I'm trying to remember everything about it. And, of course, his wife was also a Reiki, t- you know, uh, did Reiki. Right. So she knew that, you know, someone, when she came to me, I came out and I said, something happened to him in that, um, in, the, in the surgery. Right, right. And, and she said, oh, my God, she said, you're so right. And she told me the story. Right. right? But they're thinking that, oh, if it happened when you're under the gun, right, right. right or under the under the anesthesia, right. that your body is not, or like a child coming through the womb who's had trauma, right, the forceps and all, that, right. oh, they forgot about it. Right. Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Right? Our bodies, yeah. they know everything, everything, it's everything, true. no matter whether you're on drugs and you're out there or anything that's happening to the body, the body knows. Yeah, muscle has memory, remember, it's true. right? So, um, but as far as people, Doing this, I forget what they call that. What Angelina Jolie had, right? Predis- yeah, no, but the predisposition oh, uh, yeah, or something. something. Yeah. yeah, with with getting that, um, you know, their their organs removed because their mother had. We know that's such a falsehood, right? Um, exactly. That right. has nothing to do with genetic. Well, right. From what we believe. Right has nothing to do with genetic anything. Right. has to do with the belief system that's been exactly. traveled down the pike from generation to generation yeah. that needs to be shifted in order to change. Exactly. Right? What would you say? The molecular... Well, uh, I mean, DNA, it's all just potential and 
Like with the one command, right? Right, and like how how deep do you want to go? If you've seen also the movie, the what the bleep, it's saying how right. there's all energy exists as a particle or a wave, right? So if you see, and then it's what we focus on that we create in the particle and becomes our reality. But there's really, so it's really like DNA is all these potentials, and then so anything could happen. But if we choose to focus on, okay, I'm going to create cancer, then. That's what you'll create. Life. Yeah, by focusing on it. Yeah, exactly. And beliefs. believing it. Yeah. Believing it, right? Yeah. So, we, you know, we talked a lot about, um, yeah. you know, beliefs. And I think the, the biggest thing that people, f- uh, you know, fear is more changing that belief because they would believe that they would have well in that instance not but other beliefs that maybe you learned right like when I'm growing up like if you don't eat carrots you're going to go blind right, you know right. what I mean or that type of thing well yeah. you carry that for a long time until you realize yeah. well carrots aren't really the problem right <laughs> but sometimes there's things that you don't um, right. you know you don't change mm-hmm. because you don't know any better right that belief just carries and carries yeah. and carries and carries right, right? Exactly. and and it, and um, the idea is to to understand that that belief is not really your own truth, exactly. but something you learned. But there, there, the fear I think that happens with people in a lot of these things is like you know uncovering an emotion or, un- or uncovering a belief is that the emotion ha- you know if you're uncovering an emotion that like you're saying before the, you know everything's going to fall apart, the world's going to come to an end, right, right. and you're going to fall off the edge of the earth. Right, right. And on a, on a belief system, they're thinking that they're going to have to think back of maybe their parent who taught them that right. or the teacher they, you know... I never thought about it that way. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's... I mean, I only right. go by what I hear, you right. know, and what I experience with people, right? Huh. That you have... You know, they're thinking they're going to have to think their mother was this terrible person. Right. It's like, no. It doesn't make people bad. Right. They're just teaching you what they knew. Exactly. It's the idea of you now deciding how you want to believe yep. and what you need to change to bring to your children no, or true. to the next. But that doesn't make somebody bad or, right. like, you know, criminal or whatever, yeah. right? No. It's, it's what, people only can teach what they know. Right, exactly. Right? No, and it's it's true, because then people are like, who am I without my beliefs? Yeah. You know, it's almost like your identity can well, be your beliefs. Well, it is, right? Because... If I don't believe that, what do I believe? Who am I? Yeah, right. Wow, that's... Or that's to nice. not, they don't even know if there, that there is a... Oh, right? 